An Open Ranks Inspection, ORI for short, is a formal procedure conducted so that a commanding officer may inspect the state of their troops. This video will give a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform an ORI. The flight commander will march the flight to and position themselves at the designated location and size the flight. To size the flight, the flight commander will orient the flight in column formation and call the following. With the exception of the guide on bearer, element leaders, and the deputy flight commander, if you are taller than the cadet in front of you, tap them on the shoulder and move forward. If a cadet taps the shoulder of another, the cadet advancing will move diagonally forward and to the right. The movements are mirrored for the cadet being replaced. After the flight is sized in column formation, the flight commander will then give another right face and this time will repeat the same verbiage but will not mention the guide on bearer or the element leaders and will size the flight in that way. The flight commander will then give a left face and size the flight again in column formation. The flight commander will then count off the flight by commanding count off. After the command of execution is called, each row of cadets will count in succession. This is done twice. The flight commander will then call a left face and put the flight at parade rest. The flight commander will then position themselves six paces away and centered with the flight. The flight is now ready for open ranks inspection. As the inspector approaches, the flight commander will call the flight to attention, salute the inspector, and offer the greeting of the day. The inspector will direct the flight commander to prepare the flight for inspection, at which time the flight commander will perform an about face and call open ranks harch. At this command, the third element will stand fast and immediately dress right dress. The second element will take one pace forward and immediately dress right dress. The first element will take two paces forward and immediately dress right dress. The guide on bearer, second and third element leaders will not turn their heads at a 45 degree angle. The flight commander will immediately march at a 45 degree angle to position themselves one pace to the guide on bearer's right side and face down the line. The flight commander will align the flight and give corrections to each cadet down the line. Once the flight is aligned, the flight commander will march three paces forward in front of the guide on bearer and face down the flight and give the command, ready, front. On the command of execution, the entire flight will lower their arms and simultaneously turn their heads forward. The flight commander will take one step forward, conduct a right face, salute the inspector, and report the following verbiage. Sir or ma'am, blank flight is prepared for inspection. The inspector returns the salute and inspects the flight commander. While the flight commander is being inspected, the deputy flight commander will fall out of the flight and position themselves one pace to the right and in front of the guide on bearer, facing down the line. Good morning, sir. Once inspected, the flight commander executes a left face and commands the second and third elements to parade rest. Good morning, sir. The flight commander will execute a half left face and position themselves one pace to the right and to the rear of the inspector. After each cadet is inspected, the inspector and the flight commander will perform the duck walk as they move to each cadet. Once the inspector is halfway through inspecting the rear of the first element, the second element leader will call the element to attention. Additionally, once the second element leader greets the inspector, the first element leader calls the first element to parade rest. 
This is repeated for the third element as the second element leader has their rear inspection. After all elements are inspected, the deputy flight commander is inspected. Once their inspection is complete, the inspector will command post, and the deputy flight commander will resume their position in the flight. The flight commander will then march three paces in front of the guide on bearer, conduct a left face, and command the flight to attention. The flight commander will then take one pace forward and perform a right face to face the inspector. The inspector will then give the feedback and comments to the flight commander. After receiving feedback from the inspector, the flight commander will salute and greet the inspector. From there, the flight commander will perform a left face and call the command close ranks harch. Close ranks is like open ranks in that it is the opposite. The first element will stand fast, the second element will take one pace forward, and the third element will take two paces forward. From here, the flight commander will debrief the flight and fall out the flight. This concludes the ORI procedure instruction. This video covered the proper procedures for each important member of the inspection, the precise movements, and the verbiage required. Remember, leadership excellence starts here.